Hey everybody, Satyrian Leaf Spar here, the pirate. Um, I do this a lot when I have a migraine, and I don't want to do on my hair as it's getting longer. So this is going to be, as you can see from the title, don't know why I'm pointing up here. Well, if you have, depending on the platform you're on, the title is up there. I'm going to be doing a haul of the items that I have been kind of slowly, not really slowly, matter of perspective. Um, what I have been collecting for my 18 inch boys, these two guys, we have got Logan on this side, we've got Raphael on this side, our generation, American girl, American boy, depends on how you look at it. Um, the items that I've got down here, however, will be from a mixture of the companies. I'll kind of go over what companies they're from as I pick up the items. As I go over the items and kind of pick them up, I will be unboxing them, however. So I'm going to try to go through them as quickly as possible. So this is not an hour long video. I know I talk with my hands. I've kind of got the camera turned this way so I can see myself and I'm a little more conscious of it than I am normally. So. Yes, I know I'm showing off coffee cup. Yes, it's intentional for all of you people that noticed it last time. I picked up this guy. This is a My Life set. It comes with a shirt and jeans. The jeans are elasticated waistbands. And the shirt is a faux two-piece because they are attached. Velcro in the back. I'm not going to go over prices because I honestly don't remember because a lot of these items I have been getting over the period of, well, since March the 25th, day after I got this boy. Um, and I've just been putting off putting this video together just because it's been so hectic. But again, faux two-piece, because these are attached, you cannot separate them, which I don't mind. I mean, it creates a layered look without me having to put forth the effort, and they look really good together. But that, again, that is the jeans, which, I mean, they're a really good quality. <clears throat> this is the, the Walmart brand again, my life. Elasticated waistband. They come with a hanger. And I had... I'm pretty sure it was BC's art, Brandon, tell me. They have got this plastic form inside attached to the hanger, which makes the clothing stay on the hanger a lot better. And I find that to be very much the truth with the clothes. So if you get these clothes, don't remove the plastic form. This next outfit which was again another my life it's got a hat that's really hard to see but they're like little waves a shark short sleeve tee blue jean shorts No detailed back pockets, but fake impressioned front pockets. They are not, excuse me, um, real pockets. It's just a sewn detail. It's got a button that does nothing. They're totally elasticated to make them easy to slip on and slip off. It's a cute set. I don't know if I'll ever use the hat because it's just a fabric-y material. It has no structure at all except in the bill. Feels like it's got not not plastic. It's very or not cardboard. It feels like it's plastic. So it um, probably would withstand some kind of water getting to it, and not just deteriorate. But I'm just not a fan of the hat. Um, getting into some of the 
probably take longer to go over items. This is probably going to take the longest, and I only got it um, for a few of the items in here. This is called the Beach Tote Place Set. Plastic sounds. Do I have one near me? I do. One moment. Ah, you can see the secret to my lighting. Clamp light stuck to a trash can. All secrets have been given. Not all of them, just some. I remember, and I will say this. I remember this little set being under five bucks for some reason. I remember it being a good deal. Because I wanted it for just a very few items. And one of the items in it does not seem very beach related. And it was one of the items that I very specifically wanted. These will have to be painted. My boys will not wear pink flip-flops. Although, he wears a lot of brightly colored clothes. But they don't have... They have toes. They don't have split toes. I'll have to see how this works. But the flip-flops are cute. Some kind of yellow and pink ombre shells. A beach ball that I'm not going to sit here and blow up on camera. Many apologies. Some blue seashell glasses, which I'm gonna leave entirely and utterly intact because Reed Boy would wear them. Sand rake. This I'm totally fine with getting. Water bottle. The top does not come off. But if you felt entirely and completely and utterly adventurous, you could drill a hole and fill with red colored resin so that the bottle was not empty. That would be me. I'm that adventurous. Red seashell bucket. Working handle. Sunscreen with sun on sunscreen. Non working lid, even though it has an indent for a flip. My hand is too large for this tote. A shovel. an orange pearlescent shell. What I specifically got the um, tote for is a tablet style device that comes with multiple screens. These screens will be immediately changed probably this week. So you can like change out what your character is viewing or playing with on the screen. Um, I will say that as compared to like the American Girl Electronics, this is cheap. But five bucks, you get all the items. This is the kind of tablet you get. This makes it super easy to make your own screens though and change them out at will without a lot of whole like DIY crafty knowledge. So I'm super excited about this and I'll probably go get another tote to get some more tablets. And the scale wouldn't be terrible for uh, BJDs.
What a, oh, and then of course you get the tote. So this tote also wouldn't be terrible for BJDs. Next, we're going to kind of move back into clothing, as suggested and found by um, Brandon BC's art, because I really wanted the jacket. I already know that I'm going to have an item in here based off pictures that I'm going to have to dye, which I will have to talk to somebody about because I've never dyed clothing before in my life. Really? A sealed bag? That's why everything is attached to my wall with magnets. We get a hanger. Very gregarious shade of pink. So this is what I was talking about needing to dye. Little spaghetti strap tank top. Before I dye it, I'm gonna put it on one of the boys to see if I'm even okay with this being a tank top. If not, I may find someone else that has 18 inch dolls to see if they, someone may, well, someone else may be interested in it as for like for trades. We have, like, I'm going to call them de denim leggings. I can get away with my boys using it. Is that a lining coming out? Nah. It's just the fold under that's not tacked. But we got denim leggings. Something I will mention, like, this hanger is only going to hold the tops. There's no, there's no under hanger or under rod for the pants. We have the jacket, which has got this really nice vinyl. It's definitely vinyl. And this is a, like a crushed velvet material. As you can hear, working snaps. Our generation logo is unfortunately pink vinyl. And it has been embroidered straight through, so I cannot stitch rip that out. But it's pink vinyl. My boys can live. This is a working, no, fake flat pocket. I almost lied to you guys. I'm so sorry. But, I mean, you could still, like, stick a hand, like, right there, and it would give you the impression of a pocket. Um, this is mildly elasticated just like the neck. We have a bright pink bowling ball. Not a bowling pin one in this set, mind you. And bowling shoes. Black on one side, pink on the interior. Um, thinking painting these would be an absolutely terrible idea. So, anyone watching this that has 18 inch dolls, that has masculine shoes, if you want to trade these bowling shoes for masculine shoes that will fit either one of these boys. DM me on Instagram, preferred. It's going to be a lot easier for me to find you there or to talk to you there. And I would be okay with trading these bowling shoes for masculine shoes. <clears throat> and... So I can keep up with everything and everything stays neat. I'm gonna slide everything back in the box, including the bowling shoes. And if you're super interested in it because I've got like a ton of doll hangers, I'll even throw in the hanger with the shoes.
this is not a sales video. Sorry. Um, moving right along because it has the most pieces. Aquarium playset. I don't know if my dolls would like fish or my characters would like fish, but it was super, super cute. Uh, do, do, do. Ah. I don't like going after things with my nails. Especially plastic items. Because I don't like the feeling of the plastic going up underneath my nail. these tiny pieces. Oh, this is really good. And I'll, when I say really good, I'll explain exactly what I'm talking about here in just a second. Because I'm a huge paper crafter, the very first thing I noticed, and I'll get the largest thing out first, this is the aquarium. And I immediately noticed that this backing is not very smooth and it's because it's been cut too large and it can be slid out. It will get a new backing and it will not be hard for me to put a different backing in there altogether of my own design. So, we have a sand castle, a purple treasure chest with working lid, functioning fishnet, and I will tell you, this little fish tank, <clears throat> I know it's for 18 inch boys, it would make a great prop for BJD's. Super cute. Fish food. We have some bright yellow, I'm calling it coral. And just so you know, in case you're curious how this works, there are pegs in the bottom and pegs in the very back that hold everything in place. Heard a sound, I'm sorry. We have green aquarium grass. Pink. Sorry, this is tiny. We have a pink shell. Maybe you can see this. It has a very tiny peg right back there, allowing you to plug it into place. Yellow starfish. Tiny blue fish. Feels like a Dr. Seuss book. One blue fish. Two blue fish. One clown fish. One yellow, I'm guessing, angel fish. And that's all. And of course it says you can customize your aquarium because you can move the fish around into the different little peg systems. And I will probably be placing some like play sand in the bottom of it just because I think it would look better. Okay, guys, we're at 20 minutes and I have two large items left. 
trying to truck along and not talk at the speed of light. We'll get into a clothing item and then a mixed box item. So this is a mixture between personal purchase and a birthday purchase that was found. This is, and I cannot remember if it's first wave or second wave for, and again, it is my life. My life is the Walmart brand. And I don't, I don't know if I mentioned it or not. The aquarium set is Walmart. My life. It is not our generation. It is not American Girl. It is Walmart branded my life. Just like this. And I do not know if it's first wave or second wave. But I was not able to find it in the store. Um, it was um, got for me off of eBay. So, I don't think it's ever been opened. It doesn't appear to have been. got everything attached. We're gonna go this way and just start at the beginning. It comes with a small pair of what I would call hiking or uh, they're probably hiking boots. I don't know if I'd call them work boots but I can tell you now, I will <clears throat> add detail to these. They need detail, they're just way too flat. My desk is getting wrecked. That's okay. Um, if you are curious, everything is sewn onto this board. It is attached by thousands and thousands of tiny little bugs because the people of my life are terribly insane. So I'm gonna go entirely quiet so that when I go to edit this video, I can speed it up. Okay, we have released the very first outfit from the board, but not from each other. Because not only did they attach it to the board, they attached it to each other. We have got what appears to be a stocking hat or toboggan. Nah, stocking hat. It's a very thin gray knit material. It's very nicely done. Got a long sleeve shirt. I'm going to be picking these little plastic things out for days, but it says Adventure Outdoor. These now need to be ironed. I don't like to iron my own clothes, but that's okay. Uh, we have a, sorry, I have a running thread. Got a pair of blue jeans, elasticated in the back. No working pockets in the front, but we actually have, and this kind of surprises me, these are working belt loops in the, in the front. So you could get away with getting a doll belt and giving him a belt or even a faux wallet chain. <clears throat> you would just have to come up with something to put it on the back. And these are loose fit. They're like really wide in the hips and they're wide at the bottom, probably to accommodate those work boots. So 
So here again, I'm gonna go quiet. And again, outfit number two. And I'm back. So not as bad as the first time because I think some of the outfits were sharing the same plastic straps, whatever they're called. So we get a pair of khakis. Same thing, we've got working belt loops in the front, no pockets in the back, and only pocket details in the front. Same boot cut style. I'm really gonna try to turn these things inside out and get a pattern. I don't sew. The puffy vest does not have working snaps. It is just, as you can see, a Velcro closure. I'm gonna remove the long sleeve tee, which just is, as you can tell, a plain long sleeve tee, which I really super appreciate. I think almost everything these guys own right now has some kind of print on it. Nothing they own is plain. Um, when you get into the puffy vest, another faux pocket flap. It's not a real pocket. And then of course that's just the back detail. I really wish those had been working snaps, but it's a decent quality Velcro. So I'm not complaining too much. We've got one outfit left on the board. <clears throat> and we'll be done with this section. So. Go quiet again, and I'll be right back. All done. Just in case you were curious, that was 43 of those plastic little things. Black, almost like power armor. This is a really cool tee. I wish it was, I wish it was non-printed. Uh, camping, I thought I said camping fun. It just says camping. So, Velcro in the back, as to be expected. And we got these really cool, I think I own a pair of pajama pants like this. Um, standard pajama style. But these are boot cut too, which is really, really funny. I think they just kept going with the exact same pattern. But I appreciate them. I like them. But this obviously could be a tee. It doesn't have to be pajamas to go with the rest of the outfit, the rest of the set. So I am, I don't wanna say set for clothes, but I primarily liked the set because you get jeans, you get boots, you get khakis. You get a lot of really good key pieces that can be interchanged and work with other stuff. So. Not to mention the super neat boots. They need to have their laces painted and some work done to them, but they look really good. Very, very last item <clears throat> that I'm gonna open up. We've hit 30 minutes. This is gonna be a super long video for anyone that's made it this far. I really, really appreciate it, especially if you haven't skipped through the video. Because this has been sitting on my shelf for quite a while for a couple of different reasons and there's a couple of different items that I really really wanted out of here and I really want to get some of these items for my Big David which is a guitar and I'm struggling to find a guitar that's big enough for the 70 centimeter beast oh that's a clever idea this which is what hooks it onto the shelf is also a um hanger for clothes. How does this package open? Oh.
Oh, just so you know, because this is our generation. That is insane. Sorry. This is our generation, which is considered the Target brand. <clears throat> As compared to Walmart or American Girl. As you can tell, I do not buy many American Girl uh, accessories or prop items because of the price point and the our generation, my life, items scale and operate just as well as what is this insanity? My apologies. The my generation or our generation and my life items scale just as appropriately. <clears throat> this is sewn, by the way. This isn't plastic. This is all sewn down. So my plastic flush cutters won't work. They scale just as appropriately. And the price point typically tends to be a quarter of the amount. So we have gray Ugg boots, which will not be gray long. These are going to get painted a lovely khaki tan color and may even wind up getting flocked because um, Brandon flocked a pair of shoes. I loved how they turned out, and I think these would look really great if they were flocked the way work boots are. And two. I'll cut strings later. Um, we have a pair of denim leggings. Typical denim leggings. They look a whole lot like the other denim leggings that I got in the other set, the bowler set. They're incredibly soft. There's no details to them whatsoever because they are just leggings. And then this is a really nice piece. It is a plaid button down. I will say this, the buttons are functional buttons for all you BJD owners out there. Tiny doll buttons, they're a thing. But this is a functional button down shirt. It is not a Velcro or snap shirt. Lined collar or reinforced collar. There is no buttons at the sleeve. They're just turned up and hemmed. The props that come with this particular set have been taped and secured in because we're not going to allow our children to open their own packages. Sorry, snarky. We have two s'more witches. One fish, two fish. One sandwich, two sandwich. We have a stick with wiener and mellow, which are rem removable. And interchangeable. Very bendy. Not gonna poke any doll's eye out, or yourself. I suppose you could if you really, really tried. <sighs> Jumbo Mellows. Very hard. Don't step on them barefoot. They will hurt. Kind of like Legos. Lastly, the item that I was talking about getting for David, but I'm gonna have to find it in a much larger scale. Not much, just slightly, is a guitar. I really wish this would have come with a guitar strap 
I've already thrown the picture. I think the picture actually shows this, shows it with a guitar strap. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure I can sew a straight line to make a guitar strap. Um, so that I can make a guitar strap for this so that, because I can tell you there's no way that he will be able to hold this guitar. But it's nice. I'm going to be painting this. So, now that my desk is a complete and utter wreck and you have made it exactly 40 minutes, I'm cutting it short. Love yourself, love each other, love your dolls. Have a safe and wonderful rest of the evening. Remember, this is a safe place. Have a good night. Bye.